Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Modded. We're doing SpaceX K2 and we're heading off to the far northwest corner of the quadrant of stars called Penthus. Last time I found a ruin. And the ruin is in Capellus, which is quite close to home. And we're gonna fly all the way out here now. And my little ship. It's pretty quick though. Pretty fast little night stalker. Hey, where's my... What? With the... What? Where'd it go? Where'd my, um... That's a bit weird. Yeah, where'd it go? Where'd my, um... My robot! My, uh... He disappeared. My... That's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> my spider... Spidertron disappeared. I don't know where he went. He just finished. I was like, where isn't he there? Like, right there. Maybe he's like too close to the edge or something. I might go put him back a couple of tiles. Maybe leave him there. Right, let's try again. Um, Canthus. Crew check. Launch. There he goes, he's there now, so. Cool. Didn't lose him this time. That would have been a bit dumb, eh? Like, losing my spider tron. Alright. I'll go, so I'll, I'll go man the front with my lasers. Um, the trip's gonna take. It won't take too long, it's gonna take. Uh, well, wow, 16 minutes. That's quite a while. 15 minutes? 15 minutes. That's alright. I can do, um... I mean, I can't discover anything else while I'm in this view. But I can promote this to a 9. Because that's very, very, just very exciting. And we need to give it Snick on here too. Snick. I don't think I've landed on Snick. Oh no, I didn't actually. I didn't. I made that a nine as well. So I know we're about to be going. Capitalus. Okay. We're good. So the good thing about that new thing we just set up in um, Broken Mirror is when I get um, Tenius and Star Statarius and Pontus with um, solar setups they can beam to Broken Mirror which is a lot closer than beaming from Calidus. So I better get more energy beamed out there. Now I have been to Hankerus and Aphorus as well. There's nothing in these star systems that's um, besides temples. I've already discovered them all with the satellites. That's, that's cool. Do you know what other spaceships doing? I haven't looked at them for a while. They're all parked up. Did I show you my dockyards, um, computer addict? I finally got them going. My dockyards, four trains, loading, unloading a aquatite to these two cargoes. And these are dropped down to the ground with their cargo for 5,000 rocket fuel and a few components. But 99.75% land chance, so it's not really a big deal if they crash. It's very unlikely. But yeah, so that took me a while. Um, and what I noticed with these stocks is you can do them out of alignment. This just doesn't look right. I had to move, I ended up moving the um, the belts instead of the um, dock. It, doesn't make, <laughs> it didn't make a difference where the dock was because it jumps around. So the middle one, the middle's fine, but the other ones are out of sync by a tile. It's a bit. It's a bit strange. These are lined up, but it's like out of. I think it's out of sync by one tile. Should be one top, more tile to the left. And it would have worked. But yeah, so these guys aren't doing anything because they've got. They've still got Nequitite on board. And this train's not doing anything either. Why is that? Oh, it's got the. Um, 
Got that. Is that un not unloading? Oh, these are filled up. 150? No, I can have more 150. Probably should um, have more chests at this end. Unloading. I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. You only have two. But there's only 401 of these anyway, so this is like two unloads to fill this up. I got rid of those um, pumps <laughs> into my generic thing. I probably should have a non um, a non filter. So anything that's not an aquatite, go away. Uh, you can go into a chest and get dumped somewhere else. So up right, aquatite. And output left is just get rid of shit, right? Let's go put these in there. Into chess. Because occasionally it gets junk when my spaceships have problems and I dump the junk into the buffer chess. I gotta unjunk it. Now I might need to work on shoes some more and you're probably, probably gonna need to um Oh no, we're right, we're right. I need to work on the Ains Balkanite for beaming around. So I could make an Ain sends it directly to wherever it needs to be. But if we're doing rockets, it has to go to Nalus ground to send on for production reasons. So Got multiple Nalvis already. Got, I think I got three Nalvises. I think Nalvis actually got plenty of um, Vulcanite. So I go to Nalvis ground. It should have. Um, I probably can move away from this barrel situation. And I make some non barrel rockets. But then the other end's going to have to have the fuel set up. So. I think Cosmic Dust Lane's my first trial. Um, currently it's set up big time for this. If I remove this... What's it waiting for anyway? Oh, that em empty co at the other end. It might be fine to leave this one. It's already kind of compensated for a long time. Um, so many barrels. They're absolutely ridiculous. Um, Eventually, I'll reprocess them into things. But, um. It doesn't really matter too much. All this here is made from barrels. All the. All, all the um, chemical gel and plastic. It's quite cool. I kind of like the idea that I can just ship up steel barrels and end up with a whole production facility. But. That's one reason to stay on barrels. I just get the scrap processing up but this is all blocked up because there's too much ore now so I need to actually uh, do the same thing I did with the barrels with the ore and get rid of it basically we have plenty of um, robots up here so we can build away not too big a deal just uh, more of a Hassle anything, I guess. I mean, you don't need all these resources. I mean, ideally, I just send them to the ground and turn them to um, matter, just matterize all this stuff, but I can't matterize in space, so it's a big disappoint on, disappointment on this mod combo. I thought about turning all this shit up here into matter. Like, this, this turns to matter, and I don't need it. Instead, I actually gotta use it. That should free up some room. I mean, these are making all the plates and stuff. Now, I was hoping to make um, 
So I was thinking you could have automatic trash disposal with a glaive. Oh. That's a good thought actually. Um, but I destroy my own storage though. I have to destroy this whole thing. With a glaive. And keep rebuilding it. I mean I could just blow all these barrels up. I actually want to increase the the speed of my um, recycling facility, for instance, but I just never set up. Cheap chests. Yeah, I actually realized, you know what I found out the best way to get rid of the barrels? Is, the, is use this crash turret to huge storage tank. One of these is 112 barrels of steel. That's a lot of them. Um... The other one was to make uh, steel pipes. You call it our steel pipes. This one here is like, you know, plenty of power. This is, uh... I only can actually get, uh, 2 gigawatts out of this. I'm only getting, um, 1.2. I think this can support f more than one. It says it does 560 megawatts. This is one megawatt. I think two of these can be supported by one of these. I haven't tried it though. You could also just switch to tanker spaceships and not do all the barrels. Yeah, setting up setting up tankers for like this sort of place doesn't feel that worth it, but uh, for future places it does. Um, because I have to like redo a lot of like logistics. Like you know, once you get, like sunk cost and your just logistics, switching it is quite quite like mentally taxing. I mean, I've got I barely even set up many places to use as water ice, for, for instance. I mean, I can ship water ice, but I still use water barrels. I mean, I did, I did change uh, one of them. I think Gannis, I switched over to water ice. So I stopped using barrels, and now I got, um, I mean, plenty of water. And no barrels sitting being sent here anymore. It was much better. Um, I'd probably do the same with the Vulcanite. That would reduce the barrels up big time. I don't think I don't think anything else, anything else is really barrels in the end. You only got a few uh, lubricant barrels. I mean, you can make better lubricant out of space stuff. You can do this one, um, and you get the heavy ore from scrapping barrels. So you can probably just make lubricant out of chronite slush, the chronite rods, and barrel scrapping can make the lubricant. So I probably only have to do lubricant even into barrels. I don't know what else I'm really shipping up anymore, barrel wise. I mean, this has got the lubricant here, nothing else. Not the barrels, it's got water ice. This thing's pretty happy. It's got a lot of um, old barrels, of course. It's got um, 49,000 barrels to process. And I've set up this processing facility for them, but I didn't bother processing the ore. And I got. So many resources, I mean, it's just, my brain just goes... You kind of lose sight of the goal because you've got so many resources. I mean, this Gannis planet, for instance, that's... It's nice that they've added this, they've added the center of it now. It's nice. You can see it on the map, that's cool. But like, this little patch here is like a little patch of 14 million copper I'm not even using. I was gonna hook up. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not even bothering to use, I'm like, mm, I can't be bothered setting it up. Too much effort. Meanwhile, like this place here, my palace orbit, I need to set up energy beaming. So next time I hit there. And I didn't leave behind a row port here either, which is annoying. That's my previous design. Whereas the ones after that, I think Rigidless. I left behind a little crew to build. A couple of robots. So they can technically build energy beaming if I sent it here. I could set, and I can send like, you know. If I just blueprint one base, I guess, with it. Energy beam set up. And then I know exactly what to send for a rocket. Then I'm going to set one rocket up to exactly the blueprint specifications. Send one rocket over. And then I can set up my energy beaming in these star systems. As long as they're behind a couple of robots to construct with, I think it'll be fine. I can always set up more. 
This is fun because I set up a methane ice little mining setup and they've maxed out. Uh, they, I think they've mined the whole patch. There's like 3k left. Hmm. But so cool goes Eolus thing. Now, say it's touched the capture, cannot open enemy structure. Uh, I think I have to like land there and um, take it over. Quite a small little base. I thought it's actually the one thing I like about this is this is this is actually an idea I had months ago. I really like a mod for Factorio that is you everyone uploads their save games to and it converts it to ruins and so you build like a ruins database on Factorio it's dice rolls people's save games into ruins like say 10% stays alive 90% destroyed or whatever and then you when you fire up your game in normal Factorio you can add a ruins mod option and then it has ruins all around your planet from even from other people's bases they've built so you can see other people's bases I've added to the collective ruins database, so to speak. I thought that'd be a real cool mod. But now they've got ruins in this mod. I'm like, ah, oh, this is actually not a ruin, this is actually an actual active structure. So I need to set up. I'm probably going to do another ship, actually. I think this one's a good. A good one. I'm gonna need not that one. Landing pad one. No, not the landing pad one. This one looks pretty good. It's got like generic stuff. That's for kaleidoscope. Yeah, I think I like the kaleidoscope one. We we'll switch the barrel to something else. So I'll just go and um. Blueprint in this one. Do we need that there? Probably not. Um, cool, this is uh, <sighs> generic rocket pad. Did you ever see the on demand rocket silo I built? No, I didn't. Um, I bet that's pretty awesome. I was going to do a count at the other end, um, but I ended up just seeing like a, initial payloads of utility, then I switch, switched them off once I don't need them. But this stuff here I've turned off. I don't need these anymore. Once you get enough of a buffer, I'm like, yep, my camp's done. This is more like setting up a starter asteroid base. I need a new place to build these rockets too. This place is getting a bit crowded. We can put another one down here. That, that's the new one, eh? Yeah. There's some big tanks. Here's a liquid fuel. But this is pretty good. I mean, I, I kind of like this. Um. Quite fit in there, there's too many power poles in the way. Alright, let's try this out. So, this is going to be a my generic one. You can put spaceships as well, which is nice. It's got the storage chests. It doesn't have active, active provider or buffer chests though. Looks like the power grid's not quite in alignment. Put it there and there, I think it's better. Alright, let's go change the um, barrel to Vulcanite. And we want 4000 Vulcanite. Oh, 
that what we did right or wrong? Sulfur's for the Nacrotite mining. <clears throat> I don't think I need that on every, every um, station. We, we actually had a defense set up. Now, 4,000 Nacrotite is actually quite a lot of Vulcanite. And that's the thing, my rocket fuel. I've got way more rocket fuel set up for, for processing. I could just send rocket fuel, right? Rather than Vulcanite. So I already got lots of rocket fuel from the air. Yeah, I think I've seen the rocket. Solid rocket fuel itself. Might be okay. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use solid rocket fuel. That'll do. We've got 133,000 on that, so. that could be on um I think I chose the barrels because that was the densest at the time because one barrel is like 500 fuel whereas the rocket fuel wasn't as much where's your screenshots for that Oh, the, oh, that one. I think I saw that a while ago. Um, I saw Pound Town using it. And it, like, auto-unloads it, but I didn't see the logic on the bottom. I kind of like my, this one, base one, because each one individually is good. It's like a utility ship for setting up. I don't, I'm not going to use that. I don't think we use um, antimatter canisters. So what we could do... How's this what's getting damaged? The splash is getting damaged. How far have we got to go anyway? Two minutes. Two minutes of Benthos. How's the fuel looking? 182k. So it cost me 18,000 antimatter fuel to get there. 18,000 to go from there to there. That's not too bad. Um, I mean, it's probably about 40,000 to get all that way home. I can live with that. Right, let's, um, yeah, I really, I really want to get to this planet here. I'm going to find another ruin. One of these different types of ruins? This is a real high-tech ruin because it's got, um, it's got Naquium stuff. All the stuff in buffers as well. Very, um, very compact design. Very row port centric. I mean, the grid's got 99 logistics. I think one's died. I thought the power's died too. I think it's browned out. They've run out of fuel. There's no more fuel being generated on this planet, so this is actually a dead base now. So no defenses. If any biters come along here, it's not going to do much. Who it's going to get? I have to like um. Someone just copying this. You can like prank people. You can blueprint their um out. <laughs> you can blueprint their ruins. Um. Ah, I can't. I can only get the floor tiles. That sucks. So I can get the floor for the layout. But I can't get the structure. I think I have to claim the structure before I can um I can use it. We've got a spike steel wall too, which I haven't actually um used before. But I can blueprint the floor. So for instance I can go on my home planet and go go paste. Um where's that blueprint now? What? Where'd it go? Go back. Right blueprint. Now it's... Yes, yeah, so that's like the... that's the area of the... 
of, of their thing. It's quite small. It's quite a small little base. What are these things in there were? What was that? That was the road, eh? Yeah, that's the road in there and out. Cool. Time to get there now. We got, um... Oh, we're getting to this. Into star location. We're at 25 seconds to land. And then we can, um... Start my little process up of setting up uh, a little solar solar base. Hmm. Seven seconds. Just about there. I think the best thing about this trip is um, I'm not really wasting any tiles. Kind of compact anchor. Where right, we got? This is Star Orbit, isn't it? So it's kind of a bonus if you get some uh, buildable terrain. Oh, was that at iron ore? But I can't see it there. Don't need iron ore. Just go set up. Uh, there or something. All right, what's that? It's on as well. All right, let's go get my little blueprint down. I want to build my panels, so we'll just. Uh, Do that. I get my suit on. Might need to get some things. It sucks I build underneath it though. I don't need to technically build underneath it. But the rocks. Um, build, build, man, build. Over there. Why are they mining that stuff out there? That's weird. this one available. I'm still putting tiles in the leaf as well, which is stink. It's like polluting these rocks with my uh, spaceship floor tiles. Can you build that please? Go on. Myself, then. Oh, they've run out of um, tiles to use. Alright, let's put tier 2 lot on top of it. So, that. Oh, we're missing a few tiles. We ran out. We might have run out of. Um... No, 2700. I think the robots are still busy. They will add a, they will kapoof. Um thought I requested spaceship four tiles. Yeah, I got two hundred requested. I got two hundred. Why are my robots not doing their job though? Guys fine. Ah, I get got rid of all my construction robots. I should probably keep some myself. Yeah, 
Bitte? No? What's going on? Why aren't they building? Is it finished now? Ah, it is finished now. Okay. Cool. Let's get these rocket satellites up. Now I do need to send a rocket um, top up. I don't think enough satellites available to launch all of it. They don't want to launch. No, they're not. Okay, that's good. So we're missing uh, two pads. I don't know why. Why are we missing two pads? On the inside of my ship. What do we got? Logistics. Um, so if you're not there. Okay. Well, we'll go, we'll go put down a, a landing pad then. Just gonna land. It's gonna um. What's the previous orbit? What was the closest one? It was good. I think um. Or for us, it's good. This little setup here was alright. Yeah. All that. Go. All right, let's go send off my new my rocket from now. This I forgot to set this location. Cool, they can build most of that. They couldn't. Um, I don't think I got that tile or fine concrete. I might go get that built just for fun. Just for fun. Ah, needs water. That's awkward. And there's no iron beams. Huh. Okay. Let's go make iron beams next door then. Oh, they're coming. Iron beams are coming. I'm gonna have water though. I think water is up here. It's almost perfect. Wow. Couldn't imagine that being that perfect. Alright, let's go and send this ship. My now we could go add a couple more pads. That'll do. Four pads will do. Um I'm not sure why I'm seeing those advanced solos. I don't really need them. I think those for something else. Yeah, we're now to Penthos. Penthos or something. Move. 87% that. Oh, that's pretty rough. That's 1,011 liquid rocket fuel. Holy moly, a million rocket fuel. The one way trip. That's pretty serious. That's the furthest distance, though, I think we can do. Um, I can't measure it, but we're going from here out to here. I mean, if I went down this bottom end, it might be the same. Not sure. I 
Oh, these are almost ready. I can start launching these. Launch. 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 And I'll do. Well, that's a bit weird. It's all gone weird uh, clipping and sights over there. There's <laughs> different uh, speeds. So we found two structures. Okay, let's look at the star map. We got... Um... Okay, so pretty much just found the inner two. These are much more available though. Let's go launch these other ones. We're a bit low on. I'm not sure that rocket over soon. We're gonna to top up these. Oh, I got a bit of energy beamer and a. Yeah, so on the rocket, I'm gonna add two things. I need to cannon defense. I could do the universal defense instead of the cannon defense. Oh, we found another one. We found two more structures. But four structures there. That's cool. Um, this one is currently. That's not the one. This is the one here. Um, this is what we're sending, but we can definitely send more stuff. So I'm thinking. What's important to send in this remote beaming? Not the energy beam receiver and sender and all that, but we don't have that on me. On the ground, we don't really make that. That stuff is in the space. That stuff is needs. Superconductive cable, 200 of them, that's a lot. And this one here needs... I can put this... Oh no, it's 220... 20 superconductive cables, I can't do that one on the ground either. That's also... Un superconductive cables, a bit of a limiter there. Um, I've got the beam on me though, I can definitely set them up. But I can do the cannons. So we can do the, um, where's the cannons, we've got the cannon ammo over here. We do want to get the actual defense cannons. That one got it? It doesn't have it either. I don't think I need 250. Maybe 200. Less than And this is going to be the defense. Rocket defense. This one. Now I don't have to do this one because it's um... It fires four shots while the main one... Is um, it's the accuracy though, but it's between me like draw. It only shoots one at a time, so this shoots up to four at a time. I think this is better for what I'm using it for. Normally, I do the the main the main beastie one, but um, I think for these localized energy beam situations. It's fine. It is fine. Oh, that's added to my group. I've got some... I think I've got some production issues on the media point defense ammo though. Do I even make, need to make them? Nothing. Alright, let's go make a nice fast factory to make them. Steel and coal. Where's my coal? It's way back here somewhere, eh? We can, uh... We could steal it off this. What are these making? Ah, oh, the rough data storage. I've changed the color of it. Let's see. So this is going to be the cannon defense. And... 
probably could have just done it, um... Can I make them efficient? I don't even know. I don't think it can. I think it lost, lost when I built it. Graphic speed fires me fine. Occasional blips of static. Yeah, that's the um this thing here. This thing makes uh when it crafts, it's really crafts so fast. There it goes boop 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 It's real loud. Crestro 2 structures are real funny. Hey, 200,000 on it. Okay, this will be fine. I'm gonna increase the speed of that. Okay, 3. We put it close enough to have it. Alright, let's go and. What's um, that one for? It's nervous orbit. Oh yeah, that's my new generic. So exactly like a microphone wire that's on the fritz. <laughs> yeah, true. Probably very legit. Wonder what's that wonder if that's intentional. Alright, so we get 17 rounds of ammo. We should get more though. That that thing um should produce enough. Where do I put it? Yeah. Not too much um, steel though. I only like 800. Really. Crystal. Okay, that's a bit better. 27 speed, you know, it should be ready. Do its job, man. Do its job. Might have enough to launch it now. Um, I'll, I'll see the rest of the star system. So we do we find anything interesting here? We've got moons to find. There's not much left. Um, I'll go look on the star. I think a better view is this one here. So you filter by a type, and you can see if you get any um get more of these ruins. So I definitely got no no new ruin there. We've just got um heap of uh things on the ground to pick up. Oh we got a couple more to launch. Do two at a time. Don't want to over launch. We might not have enough we might have enough buffer to not even have to send the rocket to top it up. But I do want to set up the energy beamer from here. I mean, this grid is 64, providing, say it's 13.8 megawatts, but I know that's a lie, because each one's 12.8. Found a moon, and I found another moon. Alright, so I'm going to put this energy beam receiver down. Need to get, um... This sort of set up. We should centralize it so that that that's its, well defenses should be here actually. Another two moons. Cool. We run out. I think we've run out now. Oh no, we got one more. We need to leave some robots behind as well. But not all these robots, but we take most of them with me. The engine beam receiver, I think uh, Kalos had this one. Quite a bit of space actually that takes up. Oh, another one, Waylop. Okay, that'd be a good spot there, I think. But I think we'd rather have it sort of like that so we can expand it to the west. 
Um, is that gonna? No, it should be fine. Down there or something. Oh, my first receiver. Are these, are these down? No, they're not. Okay. We're not on the um thing. So I need to get the guts on these. Am I missing a tunnel bit? I don't have them spare. Five of them. Oh, we don't have uh, the chamber. I got, oh, I got four chambers on me. Okay, that's fine. Oh, where'd the chambers go? I need those chambers. Okay, there we go. We got our um, remote energy beam. Now, this is 94% transmission at this location. That's pretty good. Now, it's going to need... Um, so each of these is 12.8 megawatts, right? So 12.8 times 64 is 819 megawatts. And this thing needs like uh, three times that to power. But we're not gonna um, do this straight away. This is just to have it ready to go. We're gonna do build a bigger solar field. I think we got, we should have enough on the Navis now to uh, send off a rocket. It's got 75 spear, so it's, I think it's good to go. Here's my rocket. This one here. Yep, it's got 200. Cool. It's going to be um, off the Penthos. 87% chance is pretty good, actually. Um, Penthos. Off the Penthos. And then we're going to go to the next star system. After we finish this one off. I gotta move my move my save guys as well. I'll keep forgetting like, my hydro's filling up again. Launch. Should arrive here. And we'll discover what's left of the star system. It shouldn't be too much. Here is um. I've got most of it. I think there might be one or two, like one there. Maybe one here. we find any ruins? I don't think we did. I think they're quite hard to find the ruins. I think there's only three of them in the whole, whole stars. Currently. But they're going to add more, I think. Oh. Why'd they get damaged? Who thinks it tops up my, um, structure? A bunch of satellites. Now I actually might just destroy these. I don't want all of them going. I'm just waste of resources otherwise. I think four is enough to finish off. I should turn this thing off. I think it's using power. It says off, so it shouldn't actually be drawing power, but it is. That's annoying, so I might just take it down for now. Um. I need to put some defenses down too. We'll go copy it from that other place. Copy from Broken Mirror. Yeah. Um, should put it up there. That's where the solar panels are going to be, so it probably should be there.
go. Takes a while to charge these rockets up. We got my logistics. Got ten. Yeah, they get destroyed. That's the problem. Um. Yeah, it's in front. But these each of these are carrying three. All right, so that's another. That's twenty-two then. That's that's probably about right. Oh, there's also ones inside the chest as well. Now, these are really red, eh? Try and change the color of these to blue. I can blue more, more more powerful. Alright, let's launch one. Two. Let's do two. We'll see we uh discover the rest. I think we need like four maybe left in the star system. I'll leave this behind for building my panels on. We could leave the panels. Maybe. Oh, we found two more moons, okay. Let's have a look. What's left? Oh. Oh my god, look at these moons out here. What the hell? So many little moons. 539, They're quite big moons. I mean, they're half the size of the planet. Like, what sort of. Imagine the tidal forces on that. Do not find anything. Okay, so we've found everything now in the star system. Let's do a, a search on this. See if we found any more ruins. I don't think we did. No, no ruins. All right, we're good to leave. Now I guess I'm gonna make sure the robots in here. Um, I don't want all these robots in here. So many satellites. That's alright, we're good. Alright, we're gonna leave in two, three, four, five. I can probably put the Mikishi in there, that's probably better. So they're not floating around. And then I don't have to worry about any being left behind. We always rotate it afterwards. Now this has got a whole lot of stuff that why has it got navigation satellites in here? That's not cool. What about robots? Well, we're gonna leave some behind, I guess. We'll leave we'll leave we'll leave them ten. For building um space stuff. These panels. I remember where I brought them. I think I was gonna do it for ground panels. Actually, we'll leave the capsule behind as well for an emergency. Oh no, but you always get capsule when you in a rocket. Oh no, at least it crashes. And we've got more point defenses that we need. And these like, this protects. That's pretty good protection, it's right in the middle. That's um, probably an upgrade blueprint actually. Try Mark 2. Gonna need to um, we'll put the, we'll put the charger down. Put the scroll through the or something. We could try my first one out and um, leave a whole heap of these. The problem is we only have the solar panels available. Um, we can't do too many space ones. We've got 80 left. I think I was going to go to making um, using these shitty ones. Or test one. So I do a little grid.
Go. That should be um six minute power. Let's have a look. So 133 at two what are they what are they doing each? 133 times 4 megawatts. 133 times 4. It's 532 gigawatts. I think those were 800 and something. So it's like 1.3 gigawatts for that field. It's not that great. But um, I think it's enough for the beam emitter to go like half half power. We could build a bigger grid. I mean, we did send up 200 of these, so it could. Maybe I'll just do this now. Blueprint this. Um, K2SC straight blah. Where's the other one? It was that one up next to it. It's going outside the range though of my things, but. There or something? Maybe there. We might have to send over a little more. Um, this is like my most remote location, right? So this Penthus can get Hailstorm energy. Don't really need it actually because Ice Field's kind of far away. It's not going to be that, that helpful having this as, as a beamer. Um, I guess if I ever set up a base though in this area, I can beam energy to the base to start it up. I even need to go to ground to build a base. Otherwise, don't need to make this is like a bit more of a test run. I can just remove it afterwards. Blueprint to Reva. Let's see how much power it generates. It must be 1.8 gigawatts. It's alright. Not bad, not bad. What's left? Looks like we got a. Bro, ran out of. I got 3,400 of them available. What are robots doing? Go build, guys. Build, my pretties. Build. I want to get to the next star system and launch. So I could either go to Hailstorm and set up a thing there. It's got a lot of water ice, but um, no Nacotite really. We're only going there to get um, spheres. Otherwise, we got a uh, Wix of us. Speaking of spheres, I probably should go send a bunch of spheres back home. I think Cosmic Dustland should have a bunch on this rocket. Yeah, we can we can send this back. I think, um, I think now it's just ready to send more. That's the Glyscope one, where's the Nowless one? The one? Yeah, that's the one. And it's in this one as well. Start again the spheres. Um, how how good is this beaming? Now apparently you can build a um, a beam receiver on a ship. Um, I can put up my grids off. Oh, I've run out of power. Yeah, that's fine. I got damaged. That's a bit sad. I won't lose too many satellites. I think like 2% chance of crashing that, and it crashed. <laughs> Sad odds. I will take that with me. So this grid is now... 
Not bad. So it's it's almost two gigawatts. Sure, beam receiver is a top tier meme. Ha. Huh. Are there Factorio memes? Didn't know there was. I haven't really looked. Oh, I'm getting on my ship. How's my water look anyway? We got, um, 22k. It's a little bit low. We're fine, no, we're just, um, we need to. Oh, we gotta take the robots back. So. These guys all got too many robots. Did they connect it up? It looks like they are. Can't leave robots behind, you know? Uh, how do we get these ones out? Hey, active provider. They were gone? You guys, you guys got some as well. So rude. All right, let's go get these last ones. These stragglers. Yeah, I got you guys. It's funny, like one goes to grab him, and then he grabs him, and then goes inside. And it goes round circles. <laughs> round circles, you guys. Dulcy dough. <laughs> All right, we need to just leave. We have three logistics, and we got five over there, so that's fine. My first remote um, beam setup, really. It's kind of very far away. I don't know if I'll ever be out here again for a long time. Uh, we need to get this um, steam power going, so we have to get this. I'll still manually fill this up. I find it does it too much. Let's get this powered up. Alright. Let's leave. We're done with uh, Penthus. And we go to the next, um, next location. No, oh, actually no. I actually need to go into the star system actually and get all of the goodies. But, just for the temples. I might have to do a, another break actually. I might do another five minute break. Got to break it up today. Break it up. So I'm going to be back soon. The BRB.